Yeah, so what's up? I've been working on a little project and I need your help. Already, what's that? Well, I told you about it, but I need your email, okay? Sure, Jan is G U N E W H A T at gmail.com. Great, I'll be sending you something. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Champion English. Yay! Welcome back to pronunciation. <laughs> Students, let's have class. Hurry, grab an ebook at the link in the description. Because right now, Champion English is on sale for only 95 cents. You heard me, less than $1. And today, you will learn the English alphabet. Can everyone say English? English alphabet. Alphabet. Here we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Champion English. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome. Now you try. Can you say that with me? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome. Good job. And see you in the next slide. Hello, students. And now we're going to work on the alphabet. Can you say that with me? Alphabet? Okay. And here we go in the next slide. Hello, students. And here we go with our alphabet. Come on, let's say that together. Alphabet. Okay, we start the alphabet with A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Now you try. Hello, students. And here we are working on our alphabet. Now what you can see is we have the alphabet here, but there are some words that are missing. Some words are not here. Okay, when I say the A, then I want you to say the word, the letter that is missing. So if I say A, you should say B. If I say C, you should say D. If I say E, you should say F. If I say G, you should say H. If I say I, you should say J. If I say K, you should say L. If I say M, you should say N. If I say O, you should say P. If I say Q, you should say R. If I say S, you should say T. If I say U, you should say V. If I say W, you should say X. And if I say Y, 
you should say Z. So let's try this again. And here we go. A. C. E. G. I. K. M. O. Q. S. U. W. Y. Good job, students. And that's your alphabet. Hello, students, and we're still working on the alphabet. Can you say that with me? Alphabet. Okay. Last time we did missing letters. This time we are also doing missing letters. Can you say that with me? Missing letters. Missing letters. Okay, students. So if I say B, you should say C. If I say D, you should say E. If I say F, you should say G. If I say H, you should say I. If I say J, you should say K. If I say L, you should say M. If I say N, you should say O. If I say P, you should say Q. If I say R, you should say S. If I say T, you should say U. If I say V, you should say W. If I say X, you should say Y. And if I say Z, that is the end. Okay, students, now you try it. Here we go. B. D. F. H. J. L. N. P. R. T. V. X. And Z. Good job, students. You have just learned the alphabet. Hello, students. You should now know how to say most of the alphabet, if not all, by yourself. So here we go. A. Z. All right, students. Let's say it together from your memory. And here we go. A. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Good job, students. And let's finish up that alphabet. Now we have to go to the small letters. Hello, students, and welcome back. Now, here we are, and we're working on our lowercase letters. Would you please say that with me? Lowercase letters. Lowercase letters. That's right, students. These are your lowercase letters, which is a small a. So you circle and draw a line down. And then it's a b. Line down and curve around. 
and then it's a C, curve to the left, and then it's a D, make a circle and draw a line down, and then it's an E, go halfway and curve around, and then it's an F, curve down and cross it, and then it's a G, draw a circle and curve down. Then it's an H, draw a line and half a curve. Then it's an I, line and dot. And then it's a J, line, curve and dot. And then it's a K, draw a line and then come in and go out. And then it's an L. And then it's an M, draw a small line, curve around once and down, curve around again and down. Then it's an N, draw a line, curve and come down. And then it's an O, draw a circle. And then it's a P, draw a line, and then curve it and make a circle. Then it's a Q, make a circle, line down and come up just a little bit. Then it's an R, draw a line and curve around. And then it's an S, start in the middle, curve, come down, curve again and finish it. And then it's a T, draw a line and cross it. And then it's a U, draw a line down, curve it and line down. And then it's a V, go to the middle and slant it in and then come up. Then it's a W, Go to the middle, slant in, come up to the center, go down, and come back up. Then we have an X. We go to the middle, and we slant it all the way to the end. And then we go to the top, and we slant it all the way to the left. Then we have the Y. We go to the middle, we come slanting down to the end, and then we go up to the top again, where the middle is, and then we draw a line going below the line. Remember that? And then we do the Z, which we start in the middle. We draw a line. We slant it to the left. And then we draw another line to the right. All right. Good job, students. Please practice writing each letter. Hello, students. And here we are with our lowercase letters. Would you please say that with me? Lowercase letters, lowercase letters. That's right, students, we're doing lowercase letters. So notice that we have certain letters here that are missing. What I would like you to do is I would like you to write and say, as you write it, the lowercase letters. So you see we have B, then you write C. We have D, then you write E. We have F, then you write G. We have H, then you write I. We have J, then you write K. We have L, then you write M. We have N, then you write O. We have P, then you write Q. We have R, then you write S. We have T, then you write U. We have B, then you write W. We have X, then you write Y. And then we have Z. So I'm going to give you a chance to use your memory. Remember, memory system. So touch your brain, touch your head and say my memory, memory system. Now, when I say the consonant, the B is a consonant. When I say the consonant, then you should say the one that is missing. Here we go, students. Let's go. B. D, F, H, J, L, N, P, R, T, V, X, 
Z. Good job. Thank you so much. Okay, students, we are still learning those missing letters on the lowercase letters. Come on, lowercase letters. So we're still learning our lowercase letters. And we have lowercase letters that are in front of us. But do we remember the letters that we can't see? So remember, if I say A, you should say B. If I say C, you should say D. If I say E, you should say F. If I say G, you should say H. If I say I, you should say J. If I say K, you should say L. If I say M, you should say N. If I say O, you should say P. If I say Q, you should say R. If I say S, you should say T. If I say U, you should say B. If I say W, you should say X. And if I say Y, you should say Z. Here we go, students. Let's try this together. A, C, E, G, I, K, M, O, Q, S, U, W, Y. Good job, students. <laughs> Hello, students. We are now going to do our lowercase letters. Come on, let's say it. Lowercase letters. That's right. We're going to do our lowercase letters for the last time. So here we go. A, P, C, T, E, L, P, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Good job. Now remember, take the time to write down the letters carefully and correctly in your book. So I hope you are using your Champion English ESL books so that as I'm speaking, you can be writing in your book. Okay, students? All right. Love you more. Boom. Bye. Hello, students, and welcome back. Good job learning your capital letters, your lowercase letters, and now we are going to go over phonics. Now, phonics is the way the English sounds. Phonics, everyone say phonics. That's right, phonics. Good job. Phonics helps you to read. Phonics helps you to speak. So we are going to go with phonics, okay? All right, here we go. Hello, students, and welcome back. We are now going to our phonics. Can you say phonics with me? Phonics. Okay, we have the phonics sounds that we're working with. And the first one is b, 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 d, 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 G, 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 H, 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 J, 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 K, 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 U, 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 U. Uh, uh, uh. Pa, pa, pa. 
Quoi 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 Mou 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 Te 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 Wa 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 Ya 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 Good job, students. Now you try it. B, B, D, D, G, K, H, J, J, K, K, U, 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 U. Good job. Now practice three times. Okay, we're back to phonics. Can you say that? Phonics. Okay, we have b. So when I say b, then you say k, d, f. I will say h, and you will say j. I'll say k, and you'll say l, m, m. I'll say p, and you'll say r. Yeah, I'll say yeah, and you say zzz. Okay, students. Okay, let's go. B. Huh. K. P. S. T. Yeah. Good job, everyone. Practice three times. Bye. Hello, students. Here we are, and we're going to do the blends. Can you say blends? Do you know, students, that when we read a word such as block, we have bl and og, block. Or maybe it's black. We have bl and ag. Black. Well, when we read a word, we use blends. That means we put two. Can everyone say two? Two. We put two consonants together, and that makes a sound. So here's the example. Bl, br, ch, cl, cr, dr, dw. L, fr, gl, gr, g, pl, fr, f, sh, sl, str, tr, tw, v, w, r, y. Okay, students, we're going to do this again, and this time. We are going to say the blends. Come on, say blends. Blends. We're going to say the blends three times. Here we go, students. Blah, blah, blah. Bra, bra, bra. Cha, cha, cha. Cla, cla, cla. Cra, cra, cra. Dra, dra, dra. Dwa, dwa, dwa. Fla, fla, fla. Fra, fra, fra. Gla gla gla, gra gra gra, gu gu gu, pla pla pla, pra pra pra, fa fa fa, sh sh sh, sla sla sla, stra stra stra, tra tra tra, twa twa twa, the the the, wa wa wa, ra ra ra, why why why, gu 
Good job, students. Try, try, try your best. Okay, students, let's now practice doing our blends. So I hope you have your Champion English ESL workbooks so that you can practice your letters. So notice the first consonant sound that we have is B. Then it's K, D, G, P, Q, S, Z, T, and W. We also have Y and Z, but we're not doing those right now. Okay, so notice that if you have B, there are two sounds for that, which are bl and br. So you should go ahead and write that sound on the letter, on that line. And then for C, we have three sounds. We have ch, cl, and cr. So please write your sounds for that letter. And then we have for the D, the D has two major sounds, which are dr and dw. So please go ahead and write down your dr and dw for the D sound. Now we're going on to the the fl, the F sounds. So go ahead and write down your fl and fr for your F sounds. Then we have the G. Under the G, we have three sounds, which are gl, gr, and g, like ghost. So for those sounds, write down each sound and say them out loud. For the P, we have three sounds, which are pl, pr, and yes, I see I put a p there again. So go ahead and write down those sounds and say them out loud. And then you can see we have the S sound, which is the sl and the sh. So go ahead, write it and say it. And then we have also sh, sl, str, and sw, like swim. So write it and say it. And then we have the W sounds, which are W and R. Remember, we also had Y. Write it and say it. Good job, students, and happy practicing. Hello, students. This time, we're going to go on to our vowels. Can you say that with me? Vowels. A, E, I, O, U. This is how we form words. We use consonants and blends with vowels and more consonants and more blends to make a word like cat. So we would use k a t. We would use a c, an a, and a t. And notice it says cat. But if I change the vowel, it could say cat or kit, or cot, or cut. So the A-E-I-O-U is like the music of the word. Let's say that together. A-E-I-O-U. <laughs> Good singing, everyone. Let's say it again. A-E-I-O-U. A-E-I-O-U. Thank you. Hello, Hello students. students. And let's say we are now we going to make the short, the short A sound. sound. Do you and remember? You go like to the dentist at the and dentist's the dentist says, office. open your mouth. Ah. Ah. Come on. Oh, let's see. say that together. Let's say that again. Ah. Ah. Stick out your That's tongue and say, right, students. Ah. So here we okay, go. Okay, we're going to go through the, the words short all together right sound, now. And let's which go. Which says, ah, ah. bat, and ah, cat, cat, and at, cat, cat, d, and at, bat, bat. ch, hat, and at, chat, jack, and at, lat, mat, and at, 
J quack and and yeah. and at sack and mm. that and at mad. Now we're going to sound out and at each pack together like we're reading. Wha so we put together quack. most of the time consonant and with at a vowel fat. with a consonant. And we call this and the CBC consonant vowel consonant. Mm. Okay, and here we go. That. But well done, students. At now say each word bad. by yourself. Can Three you say that times. together? But and at. Hello, at. students. We are now going to Cook make the and short A sound. Cat. You remember, you go to the D dentist and, and the at. dentist says, open your mouth. Data. Come Ch on. And let's at. say that together. Chat. That's Put right, students. At. So here we go. Fat. With a short A sound, at. At. which says at. at. B and at. J and bat. Jack. And at. Cat. Cat. D and at. Dad. At. Ch and at. Chat. And pat, pat, and at, and at, quat, and at, jet, and at, set, and at, that, and at, pat. Good job, students. Now practice it three times. And at, quack. Hello, students. This time, I want you to put the right word in the right column, okay? So you're going to put the at and in the right column and words that have the same ending as B-A-C-K, back, in the right column. So can you say t, okay? Those will go in the at column. Can you say k, those will go in the back column? And I'm going to give you one, maybe 30 seconds. So 30, 29, 28, 27. Go ahead and put the words in the right column. Come on, let's go. 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, students, time is up. And let's see what we have. We have at. Uh, how about bat? Yes, bat goes into the first column. And then cat, first column. And then back is already there chat into the first column fat into the first column hat into the first column jack second column black second column mat first column pat first column quack second column rat first column sat first column and that first column. Good job, students. And let's go. Right column and words so that have the same ending. So let's look at our answers right column for the and short words that have the same ending. Right column again. and words that have the for same ending. Right column and words have that have the same ending. Right bat, column and words that cat, have the same ending. Right column and words that have the same ending. Right column and words that have the same ending. Right column and words that have the same ending. Right column and words that have the same ending. Right column and words that have the two same more. ending black right column and, and words black. that have the same like ending black. right column black. and words that have the Good same job, ending everyone. right column and, and words I'll that have the same the ending right lesson. column and words that have okay we are now working on the a sounds this would be the long sounds can you say the long a sounds long a sounds 
That's right. We're working on the long A sounds. The first one we have is eight. Bay cake. Day fake. Gate hate. Late mate. Rate state. Wait late. Plate Jake. And that's right, students. So now we're going to take our time and we're going to sound out each word together because that's how we learn how to read. Here we go, students. B and A, bay. K and A, k cake. D and A, day. And A, fake. G and A, gate. H and A, hate. L and A, late. M and A, mate. R and A, rate. St and eight state. W and eight wait. L and eight late. Pl and eight plate. J and eight Jake. Now, students, practice three times by yourself or with a partner. Here we go. Okay, students, you have some work to do here. Now you're going to put the words that have the same sound in the same column. So we have eight. Can you say that? Eight. And we have bay. Let's say bay. Eight and bay. Okay, the first one we have is crate. Yes, column one. Day. Column two. Okay, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to quickly put the words in the right column. 30, 30, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Okay, students, you should have put day in the second column, fate in the first column, gate in the first column, hate in the first column, late, that's right, first column, mate, first column, Rate, first column. State, first column. Clay, second column. Play, second column. Plate, first column. And slay, second column. Check your pages, okay, on the next page. Check your work. First column. Hate in the first column. Late, that's right, first column. Mate, first column. Rate, first column. State, first column. Clay, second column. Play, second column. Plate, first column and slay, second column. Check your pages, okay, on the next page. Check your work, next page. Check your work. Okay, students, we are now going to work on the AW sound 
Oh, that means this is really cute or oh, this is really bad. But the AW has the same sound as AU. So let's go over these sounds together. And here we go. Aw, claw, draw, gawk, because, ma, paw, raw, saw, pause, ball, jaw, hawk, law, cause has the Z sound at the end, claws. Okay, students, now we're going to sound these out and we're going to read them and put them together. Aw, cl and aw, claw. Dr and aw, draw. G and aw, gog. B cause m and a ma p and a pa r and a ra s and a sa p and oz pause b and a bow j and a Jaw, huh and ock, hawk, l and a law, and last but not least, cl and oz, claws. Now you try by yourself, go through all the words and sound them out. You should say a claw. Draw, gawk, because, ma, pa, ra, saw, pause, ball, jaw, hawk, law, claws. Good job, students. Say it again by yourselves. Okay, students, good job. And now I want you to take the ah, uh, pause, and gawk and put them in the right column. So, for example, the claw has ends with A-W. So that goes with A-W. Claw, C-L-A-W, goes with A-W. Uh, G-A-W-K goes with W-K. A-U-S-E goes with P-A-U-S-E. So words that are written the same sound the same on this page, okay? So go ahead and I'm going to give you 30 seconds to put those words on the right page. And here we go. 29, 28. 27, 26, 25, 24, 26, 22, 1, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Okay, students, please check your pages and I'm going to provide the answers for you on the next page. All right, here we go. We're back, students, and we want to check our answers. So notice under all, we have claw, draw, law, raw, and saw. Okay, under pause, notice that pause ends with the Z sound. We have because, cause, clause, and pause.
pause. Notice under gawk, we have balk, gawk, and hawk. Please read these words once again and practice your pronunciation and reading. Hello, students. And now we're going on to the E sounds. Now, E makes two sounds. The two sounds are E, E, E like egg, and E like each. So first, we're going to do the E sound, OK? Come on. Can everyone say E? E. That's right. It's E. And the first word we're going to pronounce is egg, 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 beg, 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 check, 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 dead, 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 head. Head, head, fed, 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 get, 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 shed, 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 lead, 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 red. Red, red, instead, 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 wed, 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 bed, 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 ahead, 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 and leg. Leg, leg. All right, good job, students. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to sound out each word like we were reading it. So, l and egg, leg. Ch and egg, check. D and ed, dead. H and ed, Head f and et fed g and et get sh and et shed l and et led r and et red i and in instead w and et wed b and et Bed ahead, l and egg leg. Now, students, by yourself or with a partner, go ahead and sound out each word. Hello, students. And now we're going on to the E sounds. Now, E makes two sounds. The two sounds are E. E, E like egg, and E like each. So first, we're going to do the E sound, OK? Come on. Can everyone say E? E. That's right. It's E. And the first word we're going to pronounce is egg, egg, egg. Beg, 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 check, 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 dead, 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 head, 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 fed, fed, fed. Get, 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 shed, 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 
Lead, 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 red, red, red. Instead, instead, instead. Wed, wed, wed. Bed, bed, bed. Ahead, 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 and leg, leg, leg. All right, good job, students. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to sound out each word like we were reading it. So, l and egg, leg, ch and egg. Check d and ed dead h and ed head f and ed fed g and et get sh and ed shed l and ed led r and ed red I and in instead, w and ed wed, b and ed bed, ahead, l and egg leg. <laughs> now, students, by yourself or with a partner, go ahead and sound out each word. Okay, students, so we're back. So now what we're going to do is we're going to sound out each word and we're also going to make sure that we put the words in the right column. So for the first column, we have egg. Can everyone say egg? Egg. That's right. The second column, we have Head. Can everyone say head? Head. That's right. Head. For the third column, we have check. Can everyone say check? Check. That's right. Check. We have check. Okay, so go ahead and sound out the words and be sure to write them in each column. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. Ready? Let's go. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Hello, everyone, and we're back. I hope you've taken the time to put all of the words in the right column. Okay, let's check our papers and I'll see you in the next page. Go ahead and sound out Hello, the words and let's check and be those sure answers. to write. Go ahead so and sound egg, out the words have and be sure to write. Go ahead and, and sound out the words. Leg. And be sure to write. Go ahead and sound out the words. And be sure to write. Go ahead and sound out the words. Instead, and be sure to write. Go ahead and sound out the words. And be sure to write. Go ahead and sound out the words. And be sure to write. Go ahead and sound out the words. And be sure to write. Go ahead and sound out the words. Check your papers. And be sure to write. Go ahead and sound out the words. And be now sure go ahead to write. And read the go ahead and out loud sound out the words, or with and a partner. And be sure to write. Go ahead then and let's sound go to out the, the next words. Video. And 
Okay, students, here we go. And now we're going on to the E sounds. Can we say that together? E, E. That's right, students, it's E. And the first word is each. Beach. Deed. Feed. Heat. Lead. Meet. Need. Please. Read. Seed. Tea. Peach. Week. Reach. Okay, students, we are now going to take our time and sound out each word very slowly. So here we go. B and each beach. D and eat deed. And eat feed. H and eat heed. L and eat lead. M and eat meat. N and eat need. Pl and ease please. R and eat read. S and eat seed. T and eat tea. P and eat peach. W and eek weak. R and each reach. Okay, students, by yourself, go ahead and sound out each word. Read them out loud, nice and loudly. Here we go. Okay, okay students, now we're now going to look at the words. Put each word and we're going to make right sure column. that we put each of so the right words in the right column. So we have a long E sound. We have feed. So we have got beach, bead, deed, each, 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 deed. Now we have to make sure each, that according to how the word heed, ends, if it ends with C H, he, it probably goes meet, to C H column, meet, which is column number one. Lead. If it ends with E D, read, that would be. T, column number two. C, if it is with L E A G, C, that would be column reach. number two as well. So actually, and the columns this one that has we have a little to put bit the of in. Column number one, we have E. Okay, students. Column now number we're two, going to put D each word in its right column. column number three. So P. we have the long E so sound. So go ahead, P, and I'm going to give you 30 P, seconds P, to put the word P, in the right P, column. Now we and have to we make go. sure 30, that according to how the word ends, if it ends with C H, it probably goes to C H column, which is column number one. If it ends with E D, that would be 19, 18, column number 17, two. 16, if it ends with L E A D, 14, that would be 12, column number 11, two as well. So actually, 10, this nine, one has a little bitty mistake. Eight, seven, Six, okay, students. Five, now we're going four, to put each three, word in its right two, column. And one. So we have the long E okay, sound. Okay, students, B, let's see how did you do. B. So here we are on page 39, and we're looking at the words, and hopefully you have put all of your words into the right order. So we're going to look at what we have in column one. Under column one, we have each. Can we all say that together? Each. That's right, students. So under each, you should have beach, peach, and reach. Under column two, we have deed. Can we all say deed? Deed. That's right, students. And under deed, you should have feed, 
heed, need, and read. Okay, students, we're going to go on to column three. And under lead, you should have read and bead. Okay, good work. Okay, students, and we are now on our I sounds. Remember, I, when we write the alphabet letter I, I has two phonetic sounds, and the sounds are I and I. Can we say that together? I, I. That's right, students. So now we're looking at our words, and let's say them out loud together. It, bit. Chick, flick, fish, is, his, get, hit, lit, mit, nick, pick, rick, Sick, stick, ticket, vic, wish, and zip. Okay, students, now we're going to sound out each word together. And here we go. B and it, bit. Ch and ick, chick. Fl and ick, flick. F and ish, fish. I and s, is. And is, his. G and it, get. And it, hit. L and it, Lit. M and it mit. N and ik nick. P and ik pick. Fl and ik flick. Or r and ik rick. S and ik sick. St and it stick. T and it ticket. V and it vic. W and ish wish. And z and ip zip. Good job, students. And let's go on to the next page. As a matter of fact, Go ahead and say the word out loud by yourself, and then I'll see you in the next page. Okay, now we're going to put the words in the right column. So we have flick, chick, bit, it, fish, hit, get, his, is, lit, rick, pick, nick, Miss, sick, wish, big, ticket, stick, and zip. In the first column, we have ish. So you're going to choose the right words that go in column one. In the second column, we have ick. Can we say that together? Ick. That's right, students. Ick. So you're going to put the words that have I C K in that column. And in the third column, we have is, or is. And we're going to put the words that have is at the end in the third column. Okay, I'm going to give you 30 seconds. Ready? And let's go. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, one, and zero. Okay, students, you should be done now. Let's go ahead to the next page so you can check your work. Page so you can check your Hello, work. Hello, students. Now we're page going to so record, you can check your work. and we're going to look at page the so ones you can that should check be in your the right work. column. Page so, so under you the can first check column, your work. we have ish. Page so you, you can should check have your written. work. Fish. Page so you can and check your work. Wish. Page so you can okay, check your work. Okay, good job. Page so you can check your work. Page so you can check your work. Page so you can check your work. Page so you should also have chick. Page so you can check your work. Flick. Page so you can check your work. Page so you can check your work. And Rick. Page so you can check your work. In the third column, we have so you can check your work. So you should have check your work. Page so you can check your work. Page so you can check your work. And kiss. Page so you can check your work. Okay, students. Page so you can check your work. Go ahead and read the word. Page so you can check your work. Each column. Page so you can check your work. Now let's go on to the I words like bike, all right, dice, fight, hike, like, mike, might, night, light, pie. Quiet, right, sight, and tight. Can you say long I sounds? Let's say that together. Long I sounds. Okay, students. Now we're going to sound them out. Here we go. B and Ike, bike. Uh and right, all right. D and ice, dice. F and eight, fight. H and Ike, hike. L and Ike, like. M and Ike, Mike. M and eight, might. N and night, night. L and lie, eight, light. P and I, pie. Qu and I, quiet. R and eight, right. S and eight, sight. And last one, L and I, light. Okay, students, go ahead and pronounce each word out loud by yourself. Okay, students, we're now going to take each word and we're going to put the words in the right column. So we have three columns. Our columns are bike in column one, all right in column two, and dice in column three. Okay, so go ahead and take all of your words and put the words in the right column. And I am going to give you 30 seconds to do this. So 30, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Okay, students, time is up. Please go to the next page to see the correct answers for your long I sounds. Okay, good job, everyone. And here we are, and we're looking at our words that rhyme with bike. All right, and dice. Can we say that together? Bike, bike. All right, all right. Dice, dice. Okay, students, here we go. So in your first column, you should have hike, like, and mike. In the second column, we have 
All right. Can we say that together? All right. So you should have fight light might night right and light and the third column we have dice can you say that together dice that's right students so we have dice slice nice and rice but mostly the first two were on the list dice and slice good job everyone okay students welcome back and we're right here and we're looking at the short o sounds can we say that together all all like body come on let's say that together all Ah, oh, that's right, students. It's all oh, like body. Okay, the first word that we have here is body. Caught. Daughter. Fought. Hot. Lot. Naughty. Pot. Sought. Not. Taught, dark, brought, got, dots, robots, body, clawed, clock, and jock. Okay, students, good job. So just remember that the all also sounds like the AU in doll, tur. It's the exact same sound. All, doll. Okay, all, taught. Okay, so now we're going to sound out the sounds together and we're going to say them and sound them out like we're reading very slowly. Here we go, students. B and ought, bought. K and ought, caught. D and ought, Daughter and art fought and art hot L and art lot H and art haughty P and art pot S and art sought N and art not T and art taught. D and arc dark. Br and art brought. G and art got. D and art dots. R and art robots. We also have a few other words here. Cl and Art clawed, cl and arc clock, j and arc jock, and I miss b and art body. Okay, now go ahead and say each word again by yourself. Bought, caught, daughter, fought, hot. Lot, naughty, pot, sought, not, taught, dark, brought, got, dots, robots, body, clod, clock, and jock. Good job, students, and let's see you in the next page. Hello. Okay, students, now we're going to put the words that sound the same and usually are spelled the same in the same column. So bought ends with U-G-H-T. So we'll only put the words with that spelling in that column. In the second column, caught, 
ends with OT. So we'll put the OT words there. And in the third column, we have OCK under clock. So we'll put all of those words in that column. Okay, I'm going to give you, let's, yeah, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to go ahead and put those words in those columns. Ready and go. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Time's up, students. Let's go to the next page and let's see how you did. 21, Hello, students. We're 20, back. And now 19, we're going to take a look 18, at these words that we 17, have just put 16, into these columns, 15, okay? 14, so 13, under bot, 12, we have 11, brought, 10, 9, bought, 8, 7, 6, 5, column 4, two, we have caught, 3, 2, dots, and 1. Caught. Time's up, students. Got, let's go to the next lot, page and let's see how you did. Brought. And pot. 21, 20, that should not be 19, there. under 18, clock, we have 16, dock, 15, 14, lock, 13, rock, 12, 11, and jock. 10, 9, Good job, students. 8, 7, 6, Okay, students, and now let's check your work. You should have written in the first column under boat. Can we say that together? Boat. That's right, it's boat. You should have written coat, goat, and float. In the next column, we have joke, J-O-K-E. Can we say that? Joke. That's right, you should have written coke, joke, and poke. In the third column, we have quote. Can we say that together? Quote. That's right, students. We have Q-U-O-T-E, quote. You should have written moat, note, wrote, and wrote. If you did any of those words, at least nine words, give yourself a hand. Okay, let's go on to the next assignment. Hello, students. And now we're going to do the ooh sound. Come on, let's say it, because I know you have seen a football touchdown on the field or a cute girl walking by and you just said, ooh. All right, so come on, let's say that sound together. Ooh. Good job, everyone. Okay, let's go to the first word. Boot, cool, booth, bloom, food, full, loot, tooth, pull, roof, two, hoot, do. Goo and boo. Okay, students, what we're now going to do is we're going to take our time and we're going to sound out each word together. Are you ready? Come on. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay, here we go, students. B and oot, boot. K and ool, Cool, t and ooth, booth, bl and oom, bloom, f and ood, food, f and ool, fool, l and oot, loot, t and ooth, tooth, p and Ool, pool, 
R and oof, roof. T and oo, too. H and oot, hoot. D and oo, do. G and oo, goo. M and oo, move. Good job, students. Now go ahead and sound out each word by yourself or with a partner. Ready and go. Okay, let's test this. So now that you know how to sound out the words, all you have to do is put the right word in the right column. So in column number one, we have boot. Let's say that, boot. And column number two, we have cool. Let's say that, cool. And column number three, we have booth. Let's say that, booth. That is right, students. So I'm going to give you 30 seconds to go ahead and put the right words from the top into the columns at the bottom. Are you ready to go? All right, let's go. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time's up, everyone. Okay, let's go to the next page to check your answers. And here we go. Okay, students, now that we see that we have the words in the right column, you can check your pages and see if under boot, you have hoot, like an owl hoots. Say hoot. Hoot and loot. Hoot and loot. Under cool, you should have full and pool. Under booth, there was only one word, which is tooth. Booth and tooth. Go ahead and say the words out loud by yourself or with a partner three times. Good job, students. Great job, students. And we're continuing to work on phonics. Can you say that? Phonics, phonics, and pronunciation. So your first word is up. And we're doing the short U sound. So let's try that together. Up, cup. Dull, full, lull, mull, null, pull, pup, strut, tut, cub, rub, hub, pub. And now students, we are going to take our time and we're going to slowly pronounce out the words. And here we go. Up, k and up, cup. D and o, doll. F and o, full. L and all lol m and all mull n and all null p and all pull p and up pup str and at strut 
t and at tut k and up cub r and up rub h and up hub and p and up pub great job students now go ahead by yourself or with a with a partner sound out each word two or three times now students we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the words that we have just sounded out into the right column so in the first column we have up secondly we have dull and in the third column we have cub can you say those words together up dull cub so if the word ends with up you can go ahead and put it in the up column or if it ends with ul put them in the second column with the ul or if it ends with ub you can put it in the third column with the ub words over there I'm going to give you 30 seconds and then let's see how many words have you put in the right columns. Ready? 30, 29, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, students, the time is up. Let's go to the next page and let's see how did you do. Okay, students, now let's look at each word that we have in each of our columns here. So the first word that we have is up, and we're going to say cup, pup, and up. In the second column, we have dull, and we're going to say full, lull, mull, and pull and the third column we have cub and we're going to say hub pub and rub can you go ahead and practice each of those words three times with a partner okay students excellent work okay now we're going to work on the long U words. Let's say that together. Long U words. That's right, students. We're working on the long U words. And our first word is astute, blue, cute, fluke, hue. Lou, mule, puke, glue, music, you, duke, flute, do, and clue. Okay, now let's take our time and let's sound out each word like we're reading a new book. And here we go. A uh, and stood, a stood. Blah and ooh, blue. K and oot, cute. Fla and ook, fluke. Uh, and ooh, hue, and ooh, loo, and ool, mule, p, 
and ook puke blur and oo glue m and oo music y and oo you d and ook duke fl and oot flute d and oo do and cl and oo clue well done students and now please practice saying the words out loud with yourself or a partner okay once you get done with that go ahead and put the words into the right column so you have Blue, which ends with U-E. Duke, can we say Duke? Duke, which ends with U-K-E. And U, which ends with O-U. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to put the words into the right column. And here we go, students. 30, 29, 28, 27. 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 3, two, one, and students, time is up. Why don't we go to the next page to see how you did, okay? So let's stop right here and I'll see you in the next page. Okay, okay. students, check your pages. Okay. Because under blue, okay, you should have okay. blue, okay, Do and hue. Okay. Under Duke, okay, you should have Luke, okay, and Pew, okay, and under you, okay, you should have one okay. person named Luke, okay. So go ahead and say okay. the words out loud three times, okay, with yourself, okay, or with a partner, All okay, right, students, okay. okay, okay, students, great job, and now we're going into the uh sound like blush crush fuss flush gush hush lush push put but Mug, gut, plush, fudge, and hug. Okay, we're going to take our time as we always do, and we're going to pronounce these out as we're reading it slowly yet nicely. And here we go. Bl and ush. Blush, cr and ush, crush, f and us, fuss, fl and ush, flush, g and ush, gush, h and ush, hush, l and ush, flush. P and ush, push. P and ut, put. B and ut, but. M and ug, mug. G and ut, gut. Pl and ush, plush. F and ug, fudge. H and ug, Hug. Very 
good job, students. Now go ahead and practice those sounds three times by yourself or with a partner. Now that you've done that part, we're going to put the words in the right column with the same sounds. Can you say that with me? Same sounds. So if the word ends with U-S-H, try to only put the same words with U-S-H in that column. And if it ends with P-U-T, come on, let's say that put, put, that's right. Try to put the words with the U-T in that column. And if it ends with M-U-G or U-G, U-G, try to put the words with U-G. Let's say U-G, U-G, that's right, in that column. So I'm going to give you 30 seconds to go ahead and put those words in that column. Ready and go. 30. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one beat students time is up so let's go to the next page and let's check our work and let's see how did you do ready and let's go okay students here we are looking at the answers to our last question which what words rhyme with blush you should have written Crush, flush, and plush. What words rhyme with put? You should have written butt and gut. What words rhyme with mug? Did you write bug and hug and rug and jug and pug or tug? Good job, students. If you at least wrote five or six words, you are doing excellent. All right, let's go on to the next section. Numbers. Can everyone say with me, numbers? Numbers. That's right, students. We're going to look at numbers because in order for you to learn how to speak English quickly, you must know your numbers. Numbers are in your age. Numbers are on your street. Numbers are in years. Numbers are everywhere around us. And if you don't know your numbers, you really cannot understand English at all. So let's learn our numbers. We start off by translating number one into your language. So if your first language is Chinese or Spanish or French or German or Khmer or Korean or Japanese, Vietnamese, Sinhala, whatever is your language, I want you to put one in your language. So you don't write here one, one USA. I want you to write one uno because uno is the word for one in Spanish. So I need you to translate this page into your language. And I'm going to give you about five minutes to do this. Okay, students, so ready and go. Now, now that you translated the words into your own language, the numbers, I'm going to have you write the numbers three times in the English language. Let's say that together three times. 
three times. That's right, students. We're going to write the words three times in the English language. So let's go through it together. Here we go. One, one, one. Two, two, two. Three, three, three. Four, four, four. Five, five, five. Six, six, six. Seven, seven, seven. Eight, eight, eight. Nine, nine, nine. Ten, ten, ten. All right, students, very good job. And let's check your work on the next page. Page. Okay, students, we will now do our counting from 1 to 20. And we're going to start at the very top row in the corner with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Go ahead and practice those numbers with a partner three times. Ready and go. Now, students, you are going to translate the numbers 11 through 20 in your own language. So if your language is Spanish or French or German or Japanese, Chinese, um, could be Khmer, could be uh, Korean, whatever your language is, go ahead and translate these numbers into your own language. And you now have five minutes. Ready and go. Good job, students. And now that you have translated the numbers, you're now going to say each number from 11 to 20 three times in English. Shall we go? 11. 11, 11, 12, 12, 12, 13, 13, 13, 14, 14, 14, 15, 15, 15, 16, 16, 16, 17, 17, 17, and 18, 18, 18, 19, 19, 19, and 20, 20, 20. Good job, students. Go ahead and write down each word three times. And you have five minutes. Ready and go. Now we have to write the numbers that are missing in the spaces. So let's say that together. Right? Right? The missing numbers. The missing numbers. That's right, students. So you know those numbers from 1 to 20. So I just want you to use your memory. Remember, this is an English memory system. Come on, easy and fast, easy and fast. English memory system, English memory system. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and if I say two, you should say three. If I say four, you should say five. If I say six, you should say seven. If I say eight, you should say nine. If I say 10, you should say 11. If I say 12, you should say 13. If I say 14, 
you should say 15. If I say 16, you should say 17. If I say 18, you should say 19. And if I say 20, you should say we're done. Good job. So go ahead and practice by yourself saying the correct number that goes before two and continue on till 20. Ready and go. Okay, students, good job. And let's go to the next page. All right, this time we're going to do the same thing, except I'm going to say one and you will say two. And then I say three and you say four. And I will say five and you will say six. And I will say seven and you will say eight. And I say nine and you say 10. And I say 11 and you say 12. I say 13, you say 14. I say 15, you say 16. I say 17, you say 18. I say 19 and you say 20. All right, students, ready, go. One. Three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty one. Well done, students. Please go ahead and make sure you write down those numbers on your paper. Okay. Now, here we go. We're missing letters. And this is your last time to work on your numbers. Sorry, your numbers. And so you have numbers one and you have numbers 20. So you're supposed to say, if I say one, you're supposed to say, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and I will say twenty. I'm going to give you another chance to say this by yourselves. Here we go, students. One, Twenty. Well done. So counting is so important, being able to count from one to 10, being able to count from one to 20, and also being able to count by tens. So right now we're going to do this together and we are going to practice counting by 10. So here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Go ahead and write the word, the, the numbers next to each of the numeric, write the numbers next to the numbers. So I want you to write where you see 10, I want you to write 10. Where you see 20, write 20. And 30, write 30. And 40, write 40. And 50, write 50. And 60, write 60. And 70, write 70. And 80, write 80 and 90, write 90 and 100, write 100. Okay, students. 
Now say English, English, memory, memory, practice, practice. I want you to remember the numbers that we just learned and I want you to say them out loud by yourself. So if I say 10, you should say 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That's right, students. So you have to remember and then you have to say it by yourself from your memory. Ready? Go. 10. One hundred. Okay, good job. Go ahead and make sure you write that in. Now, I want to make sure that you understand the value of each of the numbers. So you should go ahead and translate. Can everyone say translate? Translate. That's right. Say translate and translate each of the numbers into your own language. So if you speak German or French or Chinese or Japanese or Sinhalese or Khmer or Vietnamese or Korean, whatever language you speak, Spanish, go ahead and translate it into your own language. So we have 10, come on, let's say it again together. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All right, students, you have five minutes. Ready and go. Okay, now that you have translated those numbers, you can begin to see that we have a system here. First, we learn the alphabet. Then we learn the phonics and how to pronounce words together. Then we learn our numbers. So we're still working on our numbers one, our numbers 10 through 20 to 100. And we're going to write each number by tens three times. So you should write, come on, let's say it together. 10, 10, 10, 20, 20, 20. 30, 30, 30, 40, 40, 40, 50, 50, 50, 60, 60, 60, 70, 70, 70, 80, 80, 80, 90, 90, 90, 100, 100, 100. Okay, so go ahead and write each one three times and you have five minutes ready and go. Students, we are in a new chapter called Ordinals. Can we say that together? Ordinals. That's right. Ordinals are so important because you are trying to learn a new language and you're trying to speak English and you're learning so many words. But guess what? You never learn to ordinals. Oh, no, Mrs. Palmer. Yes, you must learn your ordinals because those ordinals are on your calendar. And you cannot pronounce the numbers on the calendars if you do not know your ordinals. So you have to know those words that we say on the calendar. We don't say May 1, May 2, May 3, May 4, May 5. No, we don't. We say 1st of May, 2nd of May, 3rd of May, May 5th, May 4th. May 6th, May, we say it like that. Okay, students, so let's go on and learn about ordinals. Can you say ordinals, ordinals, ordinals? Ordinals are the calendar. Ordinals are the calendar. That's right, ordinals are the days on your calendar. So here's an example, students. It would be like writing in your own language. Can you write in your own language? Mary was first. John was second. Peter was third. Go ahead and I'm gonna give you 
you I want you to translate to your own language. Mary was first, John was second, Peter was third. So if you speak Spanish or Russian or Sinhalese or Sanskrit or whatever language you speak, first translate those English words into your first language, whatever language you speak. Ready and go. Okay, time's up. Now, once you do that, then go ahead and copy the sentence on the left into the space that is right there on your right. So you can see the first one says, Mary was first. John was second. Peter was third. So copy that sentence. And I'm going to give you one minute to do it. Ready, students? And go. Okay. We're going to go ahead and we're going to look at the order of the ordinals. So usually for the 1st of May, we don't say May 1st. Uh, we don't say uh, May 1. We would say May 1st. Let's say that together, students. May 1st. May 1st. That's right. And then May 2nd. May 2nd. That's right. May 3rd. May 3rd. That's right. May 4th. May 4th. That's right. May 5th. May 5th. That's right. May 6th. May 6th. That's right. May 7th. May 7th. That's right. May 8th. May 8th. That's it, students. May 9th. May 9th. That's right. And May 10th. May 10th. Good job, students. You're learning to speak English. Let's say, I'm speaking. I'm speaking English. English. That's right. Now, students, we are using the English memory system. So from your memory, don't look at your other paper. Don't look at what you've written down, but just from your memory, try to talk to your partner and remember the words that you had just written down. So on the other page, you had May 1st. Now I want you to just look at and cover up the paper with something. So instead of looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, cover up the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Cover it up. And now try to say it from memory. And I'm going to give you one minute to practice by yourself or with a partner. But please do not look at the words. Just cover up the words and try to remember what are the ordinals. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 